McCollum is there for the rebound. Eight and a half years in Portland for McCollum, but he has picked up where he has left off. He's been phenomenal for New Orleans. Exhibit A has really helped out this Pelicans team mature a lot more. He's been some outstanding basketball. He's played in some big games. Remember, he has been in the conference finals. But you want a gummy bear? <laughs> I want to buy that pretzel. You <laughs> Brandon Ingram misses from the baseline, but. Yeah, it's just something about the matchups. It's been a double-double machine, second in the league right now. double-doubles in there. For New Orleans, maybe not putting up points, but stopping points from being scored. Batum, a clean look at a three. The triple is good. Because the defense is going to shift towards his direction, and that time makes the turn able to knock in that turn over look. Here is the stroke that we were talking about. Yeah. Beautiful stroke, but, you know, as you know, Brian, sometimes, or a lot of times, it's not the form, it's in between the ears. Doing banjo. My headset, which is protecting this wonderful head of hair. Oh, that's the first thing you asked, did it mess up my hair? That's the first thing you asked. Ingram finds Hayes inside around a bunch of defenders. Good ball movement. Now in the corner for three. It is good. Heading into the last week of the regular season. Yeah, I mean, the NBA, the way they set up and play yeah. in a tournament. They go to games. Ingram. And Brandon Ingram knocks down. Ankle, ankle injury. Took a lesser contract, and it worked out really well for Golden State because they were able to sign some more players with that money. That George has played seven minutes already, guessing his number is a little more than 30. That's top side now to George. The Brazilian half of their 20 shots. Pelicans 11 for 25. George for three. Fuck it. For Paul George in this first quarter. Six points, four assists, and a couple of rebounds. McCullum, another floater mm. and another bucket. He has 12. Figure out ways to create enough space. He's savvy enough, if you see with that runner, to get it up and over. Even the taller than With their last six shots from the field, including seven of seven on the three-point line. George for three. Oh, he knocked it down. Paul George with a dozen. Throws the shooter's rhythm off that time. He did both. He's got telescopic arms. And he comes away with a block. Clippers have possession. Oh, Kennard mm -hmm. under. Jose Alvarado is in there. He's number 15. Pay attention to him. Oh. Lob upstairs to Hartenstein. Lob to man. Oh, my goodness. A soul shaker from Terrence Mann. Now the Pelicans do have a 20-point comeback on their resume, and I'm reluctant to tell you it came against the Clippers. Marshall drives on Kennard, a bit out of control. Alvarado carves his way from the baseline, gets a friendly roll. Alvarado kind of hiding in the, the bushes, so to speak, to get those kind of, kind of steals. Jackson for three. You gotta be kidding me. It's funny acting. You start having those empty possessions, you allow a team to knock some shots in, and I don't think Marcus Morris Sr. won. Clippers have been active defensively, I'll tell you what. Nice defense there by Zoo. Herb Jones gets downhill, challenges a beat to Zubots, loses that challenge, and the Clippers have it. Long bounce pass from George to Batum. Clever play inside to Jackson. Oh. Try to keep some in my travel bag and in my car. <laughs> Trust me, I'm in the airport all the time, bro. What a grab by Marshall Abel. Morris on the wing in front of the Pelican bench. Trying to extend the Clippers' lead. They've led by as many as 23. Morris. I'll tell you what, he's on some buffer to get into the playoffs. If the Pelicans were to lose, they can still win. And they are still favored as Paul George ends the drought and not. Zoo makes another good read. Great ball movement. Morris for three. Nice. Marcus Morris senior tonight with 19 points. Three. McCullum sees Zoo in the paint, alters the attack. The Jackson Ings, I believe, previous three meetings. But they get the turnover. George attacks down the lane to the rim with the left hand. No. Ferocious follow by Yumpy Zuzu. A little tear came to his eye a little bit, I think. The problem with Jim is that he's lactose intolerant. Lactose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Here is Morris for three.
Zoo with 22 double doubles this year. In his previous two years combined, had 23. Jones knocks down the three in round one. The third time in 10 years those teams would meet in the first round. Mangum for three. It is good. 16 triples for the Clippers. That Memphis Grizzlies team, but that love will be placed on hold. Oh, yeah. The first half matchup between those two. You talking about a team that's in the corner shot. That's a shoulder. And not really con eye contact on that when you were speaking at me, not to me. Man down the oh. lane and lays it in. McCollum can certainly get it done. Monty Graham runs into the teeth of the defense and floats it in for the Pelicans' his first bucket tonight. Well, actually, the idea of both Reggie Jackson and uh, Vincent George of the Clippers security team, whoever is the biggest. Things are going right. But there are a lot of fires that have been put out before they fester. Jackson directing traffic, 9.35 to play in the game. Kennard for three. Book it. Control their own destiny. But how about the job that Mavericks have been able to do since the turn of the new year? Rebound goes to man, power dribble, surrounded by defenders, finds an open Kennard for three. Just as they drew it up. Terrence here tonight off the bench with 13 points. Three for Jackson beats the buzzer, but does not go down. And Ingram controls for the Pelicans. Dashes down the lane and lays it in. Jackson gets downhill. Again, the paint to prevent perimeter passing work to perfection. I was going to say a shout out, though, to Don Staley, South Carolina. And the reason why is because of young ladies. If you're just joining us, you can't really understand the standings. That's not a slight on you. But if the Clippers win tonight, they lock up the eights of a first-round matchup and, and rule the roost, so to speak. Covington with the turnover. And now man down the lane, lobs it to Hunt. And that, my friends, puts the candles on the cake. And 11 was the last year they finished below 500. It has been a great run for the Clippers, and you'd love to see it continue. Yep. Martin's coming. Oh, he knocks it in. He pulls the page out of the Robert Covington playbook, knocking down the three, and Reggie yeah, Jackson of the Clippers enjoying the ride. Snell to the rim with the right hand and lays it in. Well, doubles, Willie Green and Teron Lou embracing Fred Vinson there as part of the coaching staff, also a former Clipper. Welcome back, Paul George. He got everybody involved with seven assists. The Clippers back-to-back -back games with 30 or more assists and just an all-